Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today um, I decided to continue my series on it's kind of like a crash course on React.js and I made the first video, I'm going to link it up here it's how to set up a React application so if you guys don't know how to do that yet please go watch that video because I'm going to be continuing after just setting up everything and I have like a default React app with everything set up so I thought that this series would be better structured in the same way that I learned React. So I had no experience, like I had a bit of like almost nothing related to JavaScript. I knew HTML and CSS before working with this. So I would honestly recommend that if you want to take a React crash course like this one, uh, I think it would be a lot better if you already knew some HTML and CSS. And honestly, this could be like controversial, but I don't think that knowing JavaScript prior to this is necessary because we're going to use JavaScript and you can just learn it based on what we're doing here and take that as learning as learning JavaScript. But honestly, I would say it's helpful to kind of like already started programming before. So if you guys already know a bit of syntax, that would be a lot better. So in this video, I'm just going to do some basic stuff. I'm going to teach you guys how to do, how to make your first like, kind of like page and write some stuff for the page, add buttons to it, and also how to use JavaScript inside of the HTML part of your, like the rendered part of your application, which is not called HTML. It's actually called JSX. So in React, you can simply just insert the JavaScript variables inside of the HTML and it will work perfectly. So, okay, if you look here, I have my React application set up. I have just the index.js file with like only this and my app.js. I raised everything in the file, but the first div with a class name of app. So this already comes in the application and we're going to be working towards everything based on this. And in React, everything happens inside of this src folder right here. And the application starts and will read everything firstly inside of this app.js file. So if you go here and you write, for example, hello world, and you save it, you can see that hello world will appear in your web page. But this is too simple for this first tutorial. I'm going to be creating some different HTML tags right here. So let's create a button and uh, let me save this. I'm going to give it a name of a uh, clickable button. So you can see all the changes like automatically update into the screen, which is really nice. I'm going to create an input. So of type text. And uh, as you can see, uh, differently from, HTML, from normal HTML, you can't, for example, create an input and have another input right here because it will break as you can see here. So instead of just creating an, an input with an open and a close tag, you just create an input that closes itself. And I'm also going to create like an H1 tag. So saying, um, hello, YouTube. Okay, these are pretty simple stuff, right? But what if I want to create a variable? So let's create a variable up here. This is what it's called a functional component. So it's a function called app and it returns some HTML. And at the bottom, we can see that we export this function, meaning that this file will be read with whatever function we exported in the beginning. And we can create different JavaScript variables or, or JavaScript properties inside of here with no problem. We just have to be careful because we can't put them inside of the render function without them being uh, surrounded by this, which are, which are like open and closed curly braces. So if I go down here and I write, for example, I want to create a variable called um, my name. And my name is Pedro. That's my real name. Okay, I created this variable, but I want it to appear in the screen. Instead of just writing Pedro, I can simply do this. I, I, I I put an open and a close tag and I write here my name. And if we save this, you can see that my name appears here. So this is how you insert JavaScript variables inside of your inside of like your HTML or your rendered portion of your React application. But this is too simple, right? So I want to show I want to show some more advanced stuff. And I want to show how to create a function in JavaScript. As I mentioned above, I created a variable called my name and I set it equal to Pedro. 
But in JavaScript, there are two other ways you can create variables. I could have done, I could have written const and I could have written let. There aren't much difference between them and I would just recommend for now to mostly use var, but const is also really common and just learn the difference when you guys are more advanced. So I'm gonna be creating a function in React and there are two ways to do it. The first one will be more similar to what other like how to make a function in other languages. So this is what I'm gonna be teaching at first. You want to write function. And in this case, I wanna make a function that when the button is pressed, basically I will just alert something on the screen, on the web page, and I'll make it, I'll make it able to alert my name. So let me create a function and give it a name of alert my name or whatever you want. Um, alert my name. And as you can see, it's pretty similar to other languages, how you structure a function. But inside of here, I want to write the JavaScript function alert, which basically just creates an alert in the screen. And I want to set it to alert my name. Okay, but currently nothing is happening, right? So when I click the button, nothing is happening in the screen. And that's because I never set the function to be uh, called whenever the, whenever the button is clicked. And as it is in normal JavaScript or normal HTML, React is basically the same thing. You just need to go to your button and give it a on-click property. And instead of just doing like HTML and writing here the name of the function, you can simply just put an open and a closed curly braces and just write the name of the function. So alert my name. And now when I come here and I click the button, you can see that the computer or the web page alerts my name. And I think this is pretty much it for the for, for the second video of the series. I don't want to make these videos too long because I know how I hate to watch like 10 minutes video videos teaching how to make some simple stuff. So the series is going to be basically structured as like 10 to 15 videos of me teaching most of the concepts that would help you start your React journey. So I'm going to be teaching some beginner and intermediate concepts. I'm not going to be teaching anything too advanced because honestly, when you become an intermediate person, like a, get to an intermediate level, you're already prepared to like work on as many projects as you want. And most of the advanced concepts you'll learn as you go, because that's, that's at least what happened to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please keep up to see the next video of the series. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I see you guys later.